is good everybody welcome to an epic my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new not wwe action figures guys but we have brand new aew action figures reveals or leaks to you guys actually we have some more news about that coming up in a second but today we have some leaked images or a leaked image one single image of aew unrivaled collection series number three and i do want to give a couple shout outs right quick so a huge shout out to not only Ballard Figs uk but bwf.figures he sent me this in the dm so i want to give a huge shout out to him and I wanted to give a huge shout out to Balor Figs for the updated quality image. So you guys will get to see the updated quality image. But we're also going to be getting singular images of the set. But let's go ahead and get into it, guys. As you guys can see here, we have all six figures laid out on the screen here. And you know what's very crazy is this is the set that we were talking about. I don't know if you guys remember months ago or a couple... Uh, I don't remember. I think it was a couple months back. We talked about AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 3 being leaked. And now here it is in the flesh. And it is nice to see that it is confirmed that we were correct, that we were not incorrect in our assessment of Action Figure Unrivaled Collection Series 3 for AEW. So that is beautiful to see that we got it correct here. You can see the, the packaging is the exact same and the lineup is confirmed as we thought as Pac, the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. You have Riho and then you have Darby Allen, and you also have Orange Cassidy, which I think this set is absolutely bonkers. What a great looking set. And one thing I'll tell you right now is that the skin tones look great. These figures look immaculate from this perspective. I'm loving everything that we got going on with these as we zoom in here. I'm going to do my best to zoom in on them. Now, we knew what uh, Pac looked like. We knew what Orange Cassidy looked like, right? I mean, we've seen the, the render images. We got to see render images. We saw the, the updated photo of the Cody figure wearing the Orange Cassidy t-shirt and the jacket and we knew all that stuff that we were going to be getting so it is beautiful to see that we are getting some more stuff here and I'm excited just for all of these things going on with these figures man like let's just go ahead and dive into it again we know what Pac looks like we knew what Darby Allen was look like was going to look like as well because we saw the render images of it but we didn't know exactly what it would look like in full figure form here now we can see it in package it's not the best images ever Jeremy also did say that he would be uh, revealing up close and nice images of these today so maybe you know maybe we'll get some good images of them you know maybe we'll get some better images later on if we get some better images later on in the day guys it will be a double upload and we'll dive in going over all the details of the figures if we get updated images from jeremy so hopefully that'll be the case maybe after this video is posted maybe even while i'm talking in this video uh maybe he'll release those photos but if he ends up releasing them later then i will update you guys with a new video covering all the details of the figures but the first thing that i'm noticing with these guys is that again we are getting new releases of the Young Bucks. Literally two series ago, we got Matt and Nick Jackson. Now we're getting updated Matt and Nick Jackson, and I love this that we're getting the white and gold attire. I've seen multiple WWE Elite customs of these, so seeing them in this way is really, really nice. I'm loving the head sculpts that we're getting right here. It looks like Nick is going to be smiling this time instead of, you know, his grimacing face that we got with his Series 1 figure. Another thing that you'll notice is Matt's figure is yelling this time. His figure was straight face last time, so it's cool to see that we're getting a yelling face for Matt uh, compared to last time when he had the straight face. And they're both doing the same exact pose they were doing in package last time. You'll also notice that we are getting, you know, an opposite of the white attire. This is kind of still a white attire, but it's it's nice to see that we're getting a, a tassels attire, I guess is what you would call it, because their last figures didn't include their iconic tassels that they like to wear in all their attire. So it is beautiful to see that we're getting the tassels on these figures. They look to be cloth, that they will be kind of, you know, flailing out and they're not going to be plastic so that is really cool to see they're also coming with sleeveless vests and it looks like to me that they're cloth i can't exactly see but they kind of look cloth to me they could be they could end up being rubber like kenny omega's jacket but it looks to me like they're cloth i can't exactly see from this but now nah, i don't know now, now that i'm looking at it it kind of does look like they're rubber like the the gold tassels that are coming off the edges of them does look like they are rubber they could end up being cloth but from these images maybe we'll know later on in the day if jeremy shares those images with us we'll know if they are cloth or rubber but they kind of look rubber to me um, i'm liking what matt's head sculpt looks like again maybe we can do some head sculpt swaps like maybe you know we'll see what that's about once we get them i still haven't even gotten my aew unrivaled series two so this is kind of unfortunate i'm looking at series three i haven't even gotten my moxley 
I haven't gotten my, you know, the rest of Series 2, which I'm very, very excited for, but still haven't gotten those. Hopefully those come soon, but I like Matt and Nick Jackson. I think they all look good. Of course, again, we've already taken a look at Pac, but I think Pac looks good. It looks like he is going to come with a steel chair, so that's a pretty big moment right there. His attire looks good. His head sculpts look good. So two interchangeable head sculpts and a steel chair come with Pac. As far as the Young Bucks, it just looks like they're kind of, they're just going to come with their jackets. It doesn't look like any interchangeable hands or anything like that. Next up in the set is going to be Orange Cassidy. Now, diving in here as much as I can, guys, you will see that, again, we already knew we were going to get the cloth shirt and the cloth jacket because we saw it in the Cody figure uh, image that Jeremy posted on Twitter a while back, and uh, we, we already know we we're going to get cloth, you know, shirt and jacket for that, which is absolutely fantastic. The quality on the prototype or the quality in that image that Jeremy shared was, was insane. Like, it looks insane quality. We already know what kind of quality we get out of the jackets from the Young Bucks from Series 1, and we've seen the rest of what we get from those figures. So I think that the Orange Cassidy shirt is, and, and jacket is going to be really high quality. It looks like he's going to come with two pairs of interchangeable hands. He's got the pocket, you know, hands in the pocket hands. It looks like he's got a thumbs up hand, and then he has mic holding hands, which are really, really sick. I love that. He is going to also come with his, uh, with his sunglasses, so the sunglasses look really, really good. So the sunglasses look good. The t-shirt, the jacket looks good. I'm loving the likeness that we got right now for Orange Cassidy underneath the glasses as much as I can see there. And one thing that's kind of weird about these legs is the legs look like they're cloth. Am I tripping? It kind of looks like the legs are cloth. But if you look down like near, like underneath the knees, you guys can see the knee pads underneath the holes in the pants there. It looks like I can see the, the peg holes and stuff and he's also going to have his shoes and everything like that. That is probably the figure that I'm most excited about out of Series 3. I think the Orange Cassidy figure is blowing my damn mine right now so that is outstanding can't wait to see what that looks like in hand like god i don't know how hard aew3 is going to be able to get though aew2 is like impossible to get already but diving into Darby Allen, it does look like Darby Allen's jacket is for sure rubber. I can see it already. You can see the tattoo on the chest. His head sculpt looks good from what I can see from here. Obviously, it's not detailed, but I can kind of see the likeness already. He is going to come with his skateboard, which looks great. It's got the Darby Allen graphic on the bottom of the deck there. Boots look good. He's got his tights on underneath the shorts. I am just, god dang, man. I am so excited to get these figures. Just looking over these images or just this one image and going over it and zooming in and getting as close as I can. Hopefully, again, we will get those detailed images later on so we can see, but the shorts look good. The rubber jacket looks good. He's got his necklace on there, half skull face. He is also the Chase variant in the set, or not the Chase, but one of the rare versions. Um, I don't know who the other rare version is. I don't think they've discussed that just yet, but I guess we'll have to see about that as far as, you know, because there's like a, in there like a rare version and then a really, really rare version or something like that, so there is that. And then the last figure in the set is going to be Riho, and I heard she wasn't with the company anymore, which I don't know if I agree with. I think it was just, you know, pandemic-related issues that kept her from being in the company at the time, like travel restrictions and things of that nature. But it looks like she is going to come with the first ever AEW Women's Championship, and look how tiny it looks in the packaging. It is a very tiny belt in real life, so I guess that is accurate right there. But Riho's looking good. I like the attire. It's kind of hard to see the articulation on this thing, and she kind of looks tall in package like when I zoom out uh, but I guess Darby Allen's pretty short and Orange Cassidy is pretty short so maybe that's the reason why it kind of looks like they or why she's kind of tall but it looks like she is is that a peace hand I can't tell what the, her left hand's doing if she's doing a one or a peace hand but her attire looks good hopefully her little waistband is going to be like cloth or a uh, soft rubber so that it'll be able to stretch and stuff she is coming with interchangeable hands I like the pink and white attire head sculpt looks good from what I can see from here I think that looks great Riho will fit perfectly in there and you could throw her in your WWE women's collection as well. I think that's going to work out pretty damn good for you. But overall, dude, this set is is really damn good. I like it. Um, we get three, four first time in the lines, which is very nice to see. I know it's only Series 3 and we're already getting new bucks, but nonetheless, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm all for the Young Buck figures. I think it looks great. First of all, you get new head sculpts. You get the interchangeable jackets there or the, you know, the whether it's soft rubber or it's cloth, it still looks good. And then you also have a beautiful blue, gold, and white attire. And then you have their tassels. Um, which I wanted in their other figures. And they even updated the images on the packaging with what they're wearing in the gear instead of just reusing the same images. So I think that's really, really cool right there. But overall, if we get those detailed images again, guys, I will put them up to you guys and we can see what they're about from Jeremy and everybody like that. If we get better 
images. It says, apparently, Jeremy did say he was going to release up-close images of the figures today. So I guess that remains to be seen. Again, it will be a double upload day if we end up doing that. I will put them up to you guys so we can discuss all the details further and everything. But before we get out of here, guys, I do want to get into my shout-out from the uh, from yesterday's video so let's go ahead and do that right quick so this shout out is going to go to ktv he says if they don't do an updated roman in the new top picks wave i'm a scream and i agree brad uh if for the 2022 wave i guess is what it would be the 2022 top picks wave when we get roman reigns in there i say it has to be an updated heel roman like jesus christ it would have to be like if it isn't i will be right there with you uh it'll go on to the you know the adam cole uh, no War Games attire, screaming, crying in the corner. It would have to because, Jesus, man, that would be absolutely devastating. But a huge shout-out to KTV for that comment. I really, really appreciate it. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Again, if we get more images, I'll put them up to you. But that is going to do it for now, guys. Let me know what you think of AEW Series 3 down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And please, Jesus, look down and do not cross over that line. You cross the line. I've been beat